Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to discuss the match, uh, the third uh, 2020 match between India and Sri Lanka. But before I discuss the third 2020 match, uh, and I'm going to discuss the second 2020 match, uh, uh, which uh, India won by seven wickets yesterday. Uh, India, uh, they won the toss and decided to field first. And uh, they, in the Sri Lanka, they ended up scoring 142 for nine. And we saw that uh, except um, uh, Avishka Fernando and uh, Kusal Pereira, none of the Sri Lankan batsmen, they were uh, uh, impressive. Uh, I, I wonder what happened to Raja Paksa, who was really impressive against Pakistan. And uh, his, uh, uh, he is also out of form and uh, that's really worrying for Sri Lanka in the moment. Sri Lanka, they were clearly uh, 30 to 40 runs short even Sri Lanka they would have scored 175 I think so India would have chased that total also because uh, string India at the moment is really really strong we saw uh, the way they won series against West Indies uh, and especially uh, uh, Indian 2020 cricket team power rating has really improved and we saw 72 sixes uh, hit in that series between India and West Indies uh, uh, and also, I'm gonna say uh, that uh, Hasaranga was really, really impressive uh, in the white wash against Pakistan. In Pakistan, uh, and he considered only 30 runs uh, and had two wickets, and he was once again really impressive with uh, KL Rahul and Kohli. They were also really impressive as they have always been in the runs. Uh, but uh, they, the things would have been much better for KL Rahul if he would have scored at least 50 to 70 runs. And also, uh, Kuldeep, he was a bit expensive uh, with his uh, 38 runs uh, conceded in four overs. Uh, we have seen Kuldeep Yadav that uh, he has had been expensive in the World Cup also. And uh, uh, his uh, economy rate has gone up. Uh, we have seen in the IPL also last season that, uh, 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 but still uh, India is consistently giving him chance. And uh, I think so in the, for the third 2020 match, uh, Yuzindra Chahal uh, would be a much better choice as compared to uh, Kuldeep. And uh, Shardal Thakur, he considered uh, 23 runs uh, with three wickets and uh, uh, the one, uh, uh, the upcoming star for India uh, uh, will be Navdeep uh, Sani. He was really, really good with, he considered only 18 runs in two overs. Uh, uh, I liked his pace. Uh, because he has got pace and if uh, with experience he will be really a utility player for India and uh, for the third 2020 my prediction will be that India they are clearly hot favorites I'm also gonna discuss some of the stats also so uh, the, the first stat I'm gonna discuss is that uh, on on the uh, one of the records Virat Kohli which he has got under his name is that he is now the fastest to 1000 2020 runs as captain with the wicket of uh, Dusan Shanaika Jasmith Bumrah is also the joint leading wicket taker for India in 2020s. He is currently alongside with Josendra Chahil and Ravi Chandra Ashwin on 52 wickets. Uh, Virat Kohli has scored 50 plus in every 2020 innings against Sri Lanka so far. Uh, Malinga uh, record against India is really really poor and uh, that's uh, something really worrying for uh, uh, Sri Lanka, I would suggest the Sri Lankan cricket team that they should go back and pick this exactly the same team which we they picked against Pakistan because the young uh, uh, young team always play fearless cricket and that's what they exactly did against Pakistan. So instead of uh, having the, the old experienced player back in the team, they should go back and pick exactly the same team which they picked against Pakistan. Also it has been all India in the recent times when they have come up against Sri, uh, Sri Lanka in the shortest format of game. India has now won last six 2020s against Sri Lanka. I'm also gonna reveal Irfan Pathan's uh, secret also and he recently said that uh, uh, that Irfan, Khan, Irfan Pathan he picked the best captain um, uh, he has played under and he has come up with the name of uh, Rahul Dravid, uh, the Indian cricket ball. Uh, he said that there is a uh, uh, Saurabh Ganguly was also so special, but uh, Rahul Dravid utilized me the best as a captain. Uh, uh, on the Big Bash League, I'm going to discuss today uh, that there was two hat tricks. Uh, uh, first from Afghanistan, Rashid Khan, and then the second from Pakistan, Zaharis Rauf. 
and there was a bit of criticism in the Pakistan also uh, just because uh, why Haris Saurav wasn't picked by P after PSL 4 season when Enzamam ul Haq was the chief selector. Uh, he was also the third highest wicket taker in PSL 4 and Enzamam ul Haq ignored him and a preferred experienced player. But now uh, he's now the second highest wicket taker in Big Bash League and uh, there is uh, uh, suddenly loads of criticism on the media and the social media also that why Haris Roof wasn't picked in the past for Pakistani cricket team. Because Miss Maulak, since he has taken over, he should have also picked him for the Australian series and the Sri, Sri Lankan series, but he was completely ignored. I think so. Now the series against Bangladesh, he has confirmed his place because he has been top performance uh, performer in, in the Big Bash League, and uh, especially all the foreign commentators and, and the foreign cricketers now, uh, they are praising Haru Rove the way he has bowled, and uh, especially the, the praise has come from England also, Ian Pond. So uh, I think so. Haru uh, is gonna debut in the next series against Pakistan. If you like my video, please share it and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.